guys welcome back to the vlog look at this setup this is my living room i can film in this and it's bright Ugh, we love to see it you guys saw i did a little morning routine moment but this year i'm implementing journaling hardcore hardcore so i'm doing the five minute journal every morning and my wellness journal both of those morning and night so i can track you know everything about the day i can do my affirmations i can express gratitude journaling is what i need to do consistently this year so that's what i'm doing also my health that's 100 percent main focus of the year no no no. i have three main focuses um health mental health and uh being disciplined consistency productivity just being the best me ever that's the mental health moment of the day now let's talk about the physical health besties i have dabbled in the different types of green juice that have all of your daily vitamins they're good for gut health they're good for immunity it has everything in one like the compact superfood green juices and i've never really stuck to anyone i've never really liked anyone and also i've never heard one talked about and raved about as much as this one so i was like yeah um I'm getting on that bandwagon and it is athletic greens besties i know you've heard about athletic greens i know you have it's basically like one supplement covering so many bases in a drink it has 75 ingredients containing vitamins minerals superfoods probiotics adaptogens it's really giving you everything that you would take from like a million different supplements this is a new habit that i'm incorporating into my morning routine and i find that putting all of my best habits in the morning works for me the best so i added this to my habit tracker to make sure i get my ag1 every morning we could all really use some help with our immunity and it's just one of the most important things in our body so i love the ag1 has vitamin c zinc and healing mushrooms to support your immunity there's honestly so many different things that all of the ingredients cover and help you with but my top two are immunity and energy honestly there's so many things that ag1 supports and helps your body with because there's a million different things in it that are good for you but my two are energy and immunity i want to make sure that my energy levels are good and i want to make sure my immunity is popping because you know i have issues with my immune system so anything that i can have that's going to aid that chef's kiss as you can see in the morning montage it's super easy and convenient i just put one scoop of my ag1 with eight ounces of water i do the whole thing because hydration love her if you guys want to get your greens and check them out for yourself you can go to athleticgreens.com slash sienna mirabella to get started and they're going to give you guys a free one-year supply of immune supporting vitamin d and five free travel packs with your first order link will be in the description box below everything you need will be down below. Now that I'm done with my morning routine, the day has started. I am going to first show you guys the new bench that I got for my office. It came yesterday. Insert the clips. put together she is so cute i think i'm gonna do a plant in that corner and then art above it uh yeah i think art's the best move maybe either a collage wall or just one big piece of art i'll show you guys the art prints that i want later tonight like the vibe that i want for the apartment so this is so gorgeous you guys know i love wood and i had that shelf from them as well but the wood kind of clashes i have a lot of different woods so i'm thinking i get a bookshelf that's potential or maybe not even get a bookshelf i don't know because i want to break it up obviously there's so much wood in here we're gonna get a different desk chair that's not wood i don't know what to do with the shelf because it's not the color palette i'm trying to do lighter woods instead of all the dark stuff but i don't know i really need help oh it's it's disgusting vibes that's all the stuff that i have to sell on depop i have so much stuff that i purged when i did that closet clean out but i need to figure out the office i've really never decorated it and it's just you know i'm thinking this would be really cute for pictures and filming like a good little setup maybe put pillows who knows but the tree or the plant definitely like a big one either a fiddle leaf or that's all i can think of if you think of any plant that's like better for that area let me know okay you came here Today I want to organize the pantry because I got some baskets from Amazon and I also have been waiting for all my Amazon stuff to get here so that I can show you guys everything that I got for the apartment, get you the links down below, 
but we will do the Amazon haul a little bit later in today's video. The first ones are these baskets and I'm gonna use them to organize the pantry. I was gonna get the closed bamboo ones, but then I'm like, nah, it's a pantry. We wanna see what's in there. I don't know how to organize a pantry. It's not my, it's not my game, but we have a little bit of stuff to help us right now. Otherwise you could spend so much money trying to organize your entire kitchen and I'm like, nah, vibes. I'm not trying to go broke buying shit for my pantry, you know? So we're gonna start with baskets, see how that does. And if we need anything else, you'll see it in the vlog to come. Little did she know she needed more stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one quick sec. Before we organize the pantry, I wanted to let you know that I got my lip filler dissolved, which you could probably not tell because most of it had gone away in less than a year not that great but i got the rest of it dissolved it was in like the upper lip to give me that lip flip anyway got them dissolved at skin spirit i've heard so many good things about skin spirit they're just a really great place and they have different locations everywhere but i'm going to do my lip filler and i'm getting my first syringe on friday but this video comes out on friday so you won't see it in this vlog but in the next one i'm showing you the lip filler i'm going to take you through the process because i put on my instagram story asking if you guys cared to know anything about the lip filler process and i didn't vlog it last time because it, i was just really uncomfortable not with the pain but with like the people it was just not my vibe it just gave me anxiety i love my girly at this place so i can't wait to get the lip filler done and we're doing the first syringe i'm probably gonna do like two to three syringes because the last syringe i did was like not enough for my lips like i don't want to go crazy i just want them full voluminous full and looking good for my face because my biggest insecurity is my lips yeah i'm not doing it for anybody but me and i just want to look at myself in the mirror and be like damn i'll take you guys along for that appointment just wanted to mention it Woo! let's go organize the pantry my hair is different it's the next day i'm wearing the same shirt let's not talk about it okay so i have four of these baskets i'll link them below besties Duh, i don't gaslight gate keep girl boss what well i do girl boss sometimes i gaslight but I never gatekeep. I think the plan of action is to just take everything out of the pantry, start over, like we do with our closet. Okay. Look at how bad the pantry is. Ugh. I just threw everything in the pantry boxes in here. We have a random fucking sweet potato. Like that's, that's where we're at right now. This is fine. This is my air fryer, my toaster, and my food processor. I use those girlies so much. Um, so they stay there. They're going to stay there. These three are a mess. And then up here, I like this. This works for me. It's like glass stuff like mixing and like meal prep. This is where we have a problem. All of my wellness stuff is up here, but I can't even reach that. That's not a good spot for wellness. I'm thinking we put wellness in here and then kind of like refill stuff potentially, like grains and shit like that up there. But let's uh, let's just empty everything right now. I'm out of breath and I thought it was because of Miss Rona, but I'm just out of shape. Let's start over here. Let's just... this container as well good to know good to know we have more storage options no! my hemp seeds this is what an unorganized pantry does Ugh, i don't like cleaning i'm crying and throwing up and get the stuff out for free This is not the vibe. I am gonna need to go to like Ikea or something and just get different storage because these baskets can only fit two of them this way and that's just so impractical. I'm gonna have to just measure. But for now, that's like wellness back there that I don't, that's like restock, cereal, spices, medicine, um, 
topical stuff. So like shit that I put in smoothies, on bowls, some oatmeal, some curry, hot chocolates back there. I have snacks back there, if you could even see them. But um, yeah, there's like grains and shit. Um, stuff that I use all the time. It's just, it was just a mess. Like I'm not vibing with it. There's baking and there's refill and then there's my little lazy Susan with my superfood stuff. Over in here, which I need to get them to fix this because it's dipping, um, I just put my stuff that I use, like collagen, my AG1, protein powder, CBD, um, matcha, cinnamon and honey CBD stuff. Like that's like kind of daily stuff, so I kept it by the espresso machine in that area. I guess, I don't know. I really need to figure the situation out. I did, I did the best that I could for today. We're gonna have to go in a lot deeper and just buy some shit from Ikea to figure this out. I do wanna get the all of the same spice containers with the labels and all that from Amazon. So spices are really not, they're not gonna be organized well because I'm going to put them all organized in a specific spot, but I don't know where that spot is yet. It's a whole mess. I don't know why organization sometimes makes me wanna die a little bit because I'm a perfectionist and this is so hideously ugly. But you know what, it's, it, it's better than it was, so today, I'm happy with um, that vibe, but we're gonna go deeper into this organization in another vlog. I am on the verge of a mental breakdown right now. I, or I'm in the midst of one, but I'm choosing to block it all out and just talk about the things that I got from Amazon because that is just going to um, help me. I don't know. You've already seen those baskets that I tried to organize the pantry with. The first thing I got was this makeup, what? Uh, but it's a jewelry organization kit, C container, whatever. So this is the top, it has the glass on the front. Oh, okay. You could make any of them in the top, but this is the glass that came onto this one, and then there's this one, there is this one. And I thought they all kind of connected. I now don't think that, but it's fine. It's gonna sit in my closet or it's gonna sit in my office and I'm just gonna put my jewelry in there. All of my jewelry is just everywhere and I don't know where any of my jewelry is. I don't wear any of my jewelry because I can't find it and it's not organized. This just seems like the simplest, most affordable, concise way to organize my jewelry and it's it's cute i love how it looks um functionality debatable yeah so i'm gonna organize my jewelry probably after we do this little amazon haul but that's the first thing i got a travel jewelry case because when i travel i put my jewelry in like those weekly pill containers and it's not the vibe it does not work most of the time so i got this one it is so precious also lifts up over here so you can put some more stuff in here Just throw it in your suitcase and your jewelry's safe it won't tangle it won't get hurt i thought that was smart i can't believe in my 24 years of life i've never owned a travel jewelry case but or a jewelry storage system but you know this is the first time for everything. And then I got a rice cooker. This is just so cute and it actually looks good on my counter. I don't feel weird about having it up there. I don't hate looking at it. So this rice cooker is gorge. Look at her. Not only does it cook rice, it cooks quinoa and steel cut oats. I've actually never had steel cut oats, but I love quinoa. I don't ever eat rice because I hate making it on the stove. That is the obstacle between me and rice, but rice is one of my favorite carbohydrates. I highly recommend getting yourself a rice cooker if you love rice and you hate work. So, I posted on my story about my new trash can that I got. I never thought I'd ever splurge on a trash can in my life, but I'm becoming an adult, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy, but this trash can is so sexy. It's sleek, it's white, it has one of those little stepper things and then the lid flaps open and then it slowly goes down and then and then you put the bag in and it's you know you know i don't know okay then i got some scrub brushes okay i don't like touching dishwater i don't i don't know i hate it it makes me feel weird don't like it i don't even like touching a sponge that's why i just rinse really good and put it in the dishwasher but i was like you know what scanna Sometimes you can't just rinse a dish and put it in the dishwasher. You have to actually wash it yourself, especially things that don't go in the dishwasher. You have to get down and dirty with it. And I thought, let's be as far away from the water and the mess as possible, and let's get something with a handle. I am on a quest to replace every single thing in my apartment that does not make me feel luxurious, bougie, 
put together. I'm replacing it with things like this, things that match my overall vibe. And just, I want to see everything in my home that brings me joy and gives me visual pleasure. I don't want to see silver utensils. It's just not the vibe. That's why I swapped to gold utensils, you know? It's all about making those small adjustments as you can because obviously, unless you're a Kardashian, you can't afford to replace every single thing in your home all at once. So you do it slow and steady. This was my next slow and steady. I replaced my silver tongs with gold tongs. It comes with two of them, but the other one is sitting there dirty. Just, they're tongs. They flip things, they do what tongs do but they're pretty. Last, I have a paper towel holder. I actually have never had a paper towel holder, or I think I had a black one when I first moved out and that was just not the vibe at all. It was black metal or black wire, not our vibe. So I finally got one that's wooden. Look at it, look at how it all matches. Just, mm, it's getting messy and I am losing the will to live. Okay, those are the things that I got from Amazon to kind of vibe up the apartment to help me organize it. I will link everything that I mentioned down in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. I kind of want to just play Sims all day because I want to avoid real life. Um, I hate being an adult, I hate it. Also, this is the front door. So when you come in, this is the dining room area. Please ignore that entire mess that I just made. Those are the boxes that I have to bring to my mom because we save boxes in this house since I moved so much. But this is the dining room and I'm gonna insert a picture of the table that I wanna get for here. And then you guys know the chair in my office. I wanna get three other ones and then put them all in the dining room. And then I have to get another desk chair, obviously, when I do that. So if you have any ideas for a desk chair that looks good with my desk, let me know. But I'm thinking that table would look good right there, the chairs, and then I'm thinking like a white furry rug or maybe like a cow, a cowhide rug. I don't know, I really don't know. This mirror always looks dirty, even when you clean it. It just, it's giving, it's giving, it's giving. I don't know what it's giving, but it's not giving what I want it to give. I wanted to show you the sitch with the bathroom right now because I don't think I showed you when I organized this because I did this one right away. But underneath this thing, we have kind of the same setup as how we did in the last place. I have the three different bins, so hair, body, face, my everyday stuff, my replacement stuff. I have a, like a, what are those called? Microdermabrasion, personal microdermabrasion machine. I love that shit. I have bath salts. I have another PMD machine, like a personal microdermabrasion machine, but that one's from Vanity Planet. That one's from PMD. I have my facial steamer, which I would die without that. And then over here is where I keep toilet paper, but there's nothing in there right now. It's usually where I just keep the extra toilet paper. This is my toothbrush. I love it. It has a little sanitation station. Ah, I love this toothbrush so much. I think it's, I don't know what it's called, but it's from Vanity Planet. But in here, this is how I set up my medicine cabinet. That's kind of my stuff that I use most. And coincidentally, it matches my vibe. And then in this first drawer, we have, you know, stuff. This is my little facial brush. And then this heats up. And this is how you kind of like massage serum into your face. Um eczema stuff, scalp stuff, the whole shtick. We have toothbrushes, those are extra toothbrushes. Floss, sheet masks, um, eye patches. Down here I have self tan stuff and then, um, what is what is this? Oh yeah, face mask brushes, paradise in there, bobby pins, these little butterfly clips that I never wear. This is coconut oil for like teeth pulling or is it called teeth pulling? No, you don't pull your teeth out. It's something, it's oil pulling for your teeth. Down here are my hot tools and then my round brush, my hairbrush, don't look at it, it's dirty. Please don't look at that, I have not taken the hair out of it. And there's my rollers, which I die for my rollers. Basically all I use for my hair right now is a round brush and a blow dryer. It's, you know, an archaic, affordable Dyson Airwrap type vibe, you know? Rollers are like the even more archaic vibe of a Dyson era. Here's my little scale, which also measures like body fat, your BMI. I keep towels in there, but they're all in the wash right now. But yeah, that's kind of how I organize the bathroom. And then back here, I put a little hook and I keep my robe because I do like to wear a nice little silk robe when I'm getting ready. Hi, hello, channel bang. There you go. Cool, 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 cool. Look at the bench. The bench is so gorgeous. I can't wait 
to decorate this area. I'm gonna put a plant in the corner, like I mentioned, and then art above it. Oh yeah, I need to show you the art that I have saved on my Society6 like wish list. I'm gonna insert little pictures, screenshots, whatever, of the art that I wanna buy for this apartment, like the vibe that I'm feeling. These are kind of like the art pieces that I wanna put up in this apartment. I think they look really good. I was gonna do more in this vlog. I was gonna actually organize my jewelry. I was gonna start my herb garden because I got a little herb garden, but to be truthful, I am just not feeling, I am not feeling anything today. I would like to just start fresh, like start the next moving vlog. We'll get all that stuff done, but right now I'm just not, not feeling it and I need to edit this video so I can get it up tomorrow because that's a Friday and I upload on Fridays. But also my first Sims video will be up on Monday. So you're seeing this video on Friday and then the Monday that's coming up, my first Sims video will come out. It is the first part of my new LP. And then every Friday after that Monday, I'm gonna be uploading a part to that series. So I'm really excited about that. If you guys have anything specifically that you wanna see in the next moving vlog, or just anything that you want me to showcase and talk more about in upcoming vlogs, let me know in the comment section below. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.